Hello and welcome, my name is Minturis, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Imperator Rome. Last time we played as Judea, and we didn't do that successful, and I've been looking a lot around at other people's Let's Play, and I see a lot of migrating, well, tribes. I kind of want to play a tribe as well, but we're not going to do a migrating one and, like, go to Germany and kind of explode out some big country no i was kind of looking more into the hispanian area and let's see i only got political map modes i kind of want to have another map, map mode but there's not available in here i kind of want to look at a big nations and i do like this area and there's one area with a beautiful name, beautiful name and a beautiful chieftain. That's called Superatia. I like it. I like it a lot. The biggest problem I have with tribes is that, well, they're kind of hard to keep in one and keep the alliance. And we got some big people on this area so we immediately will have to pick like a four alliance so let's not stop let, let me stop talking and let's get right into the game and so let me explain the plan then so let's start so we start with a small 3k army and two small clans who will not help us definitely not so let's first take a look at the cultural map mode so we got like two cultures well they're all the green but they're all a little bit different and that will cause a little bit of problem we got like one religion so that will be fine uh, we have to think of a plan first a short-term plan uh, political oh this is simple matter political map mode so the first thing we have two big ones here in this area so i kind of need at least one alliance i need a target i kind of want to go in here and take up uh, these guys so my first alliance is going to be i guess the this one because this is the province i want to take this province first go all the way this one so that we can make one big province and therefore let me think let me think at least this guy uh, petaphonium is going to be our first alliance so this is going to be offering alliance i cannot do oh and fight into a defensive league that would be interesting and well so can i do an alliance as well i'm, I'm first going to set up the defensively because i've seen i did a few test rounds and i've seen a lot of defensive leaks popping up so i want you in my defensive league as well and fight into a defensive lead as well and you as well invite into a defensive league as well so this is way we got like true big big guys going into a defensive league now we have to think of a plan because i can attack this area and i want to have that area so there is going to be one more alliance i kind of need uh, because I'm not going into this section pretty until we have this area, I want to have you as well into a defensive league. Alright, the Celtic Iberian local power have joined the league. Alright, so we should have four. Let's see, where is it? Superior? No. Why am I not seeing my. Yes. Yeah, we got like four people in the league. Um, S. We need more than one point. So these guys are all into the defensive league. They will not be 
uh, helping me. I don't think they will be helping me in in the attack. So I kind of want to have at least one alliance. Offer an alliance. So I cannot offer them an alliance and that will be fine. The first target we are going to attack is this guy because he got like two provinces in that area. And after that we can go like this area in the south. Take that guy. Because these are all different. Yeah, these are all different kind of countries. They're all kind of small. Oh no, that one belongs to that one. Alright. So, next plan on the list is we are going to set a general. And we should uh, set up military skill, reinforcement minus. Siege ability, that's interesting. And what do you have? Charisma, no real. So this siege ability is kind of nice. So I guess I'm going to take him as my general. He's going to be the general. And he is also going to have like two more cherry because most of my enemies and also two light infantry. That will take us 40 days, so we'll not be able to declare war. Yeah, we are going to declare war as fast as possible. Uh, I'm going to find a husband. And because we are kind of good on the finesse and the martial, I kind of need a guy with, yeah, you. He's loving and he is kindly. And he also has better omen power than me I have. So we're going to marry you because we need kitties. We need kitties. Yes, we do. All right, now to take a little, little look at our um, Fritzen because, well, we could go with the economic one, uh, but we could also go with the cohort recruitment speed. That could also be nice to have, but at the moment I think I'm going to go into the minus with the wages, so let's do that one first. And... Are we going to do the four cheats? Is going to be nice. Monthly civilization change also nice. Everything is so nice. Everything is so nice. Manpower, national citizen output, general slave output is more money. So I wonder, do we have do we have slaves? Let's check how our country is. We got no slaves, but we will have slaves. We got like one Freeman, and uh, we got right. Mm, all right. We got. Uh, we definitely need something to make the tribesmen happy. They are, they are pretty happy at the moment. I am not going to use. Yes, we are going to use. Let's see what skill can we have. I'm I'm no I'm was going with the omen thing, but definitely need a tax power at the moment. That's the thing we need, and now the omen. So it's kind of kind of hard decision. Yeah, let's first go with the happiness for now and. The free idea slot we are going to use as soon as we can. Now let's see if we can do any actions to fabricate a claim. All right. And let's unpause the game because I kind of want to have an alliance. Uh, open diplomacy screen. They do not want to have one. They do not want to have one, do you? Because we need to wait until the 31st of October. Alliance, alright. 
Pause the game. I want you to be in my alliance as well. And three more days and we are going into the attack. And one more open. One more alliance. Yes, you. They are all want to join. Alright, 24 days and then we are going to go in for our first attack. And in the meantime, let's take a look at the diplomacy because he has no friends. He doesn't have any friends, that's a good thing. A lot of them don't have friends yet. Because I've set up quite a good defensive league block. Alright, one more, two more taste. Thank you. And now... We are going for war. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I want to have... Oh, we cannot. That's kind of... Because I noticed if you don't invite uh, people in your wars, they kind of not going to be happy. Uh, let's... Yeah, thank you. So... All right, so Harold from the Celtic Iberian local power of Persia, and they honored, and they honored as well, and they honored as well. So let's move our seven thousand troops in with our general. So I guess we are going. They have horses. That's interesting. Oh my God, they have horses. This is going to be fun. I didn't expect that. Let's hope our troops can handle that. At least reinforcement is coming in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We should be able to... Come on. Hold your lines. Didn't expect this. And maybe I should have changed my strategy. Because he is deception. Oh man, this was kind of close. Did we lose? No, we... Oh. Let's take this country. Because they will finish. Yeah, as expected. As expected. And let's take this little war. Ooh, nice, nice, nice battle. Didn't lose any of their troops. I did lose a few. Now, I kind of want to get more oratory power because I kind of want to move into the next as fast as possible. And our general has siege skill, so that's going to definitely help us. And I know I should have maybe split up my army to have a little bit less attrition but well i kind of don't mind i kind of don't mind recruiting a heavy cavalry that that's not smart for you to do that's wasting money and well we are kind of immediately going to kill that so as we saw he has this strategy of deception and well, because we have archers in it, we could have picked the skirmish. And he, I think he picked deception because he had, well, yeah, where, what was he? Yeah, it was skirmish. We were, we were shocked and attack. And we had a minus against well, these kinds of things, tigers. I guess we there. These are tactics we don't know. The phalanx. So at the moment, I guess we are going to put that at scrimmage. All right, let's. So what has happened? Prominent centralization. All right, this is one of those standards uh, where. Our prominent clan chiefs and strong leaders here people their loyalty to our central rule uh, what do we get 
We lose. I definitely don't want to lose oratory power. Hmm. I kind of lose oratory power in all situations except the last one. And that one is where Ancasta is going to lose loyalty. Who is Ancasta? Who are you? She's our. Our medic, I guess. Yes, you are. Well, I don't mind. I, I really, I really don't mind. I'm definitely not going to lose the oratory power because we are so low on oratory power. Status quo. We. Oh, this is interesting. An envoy from the Celtic Iberian state of Tamargaria, as I pronounce that perfectly right. And we are going to get some money, yeah, so I'm definitely going to accept that offer. We are still in plus. I didn't expect that with the chariots and with two cohorts and building up an army of 7,000. A baby son is born. Oh my god, we got a little boy. And he is a zero 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 zero. Well, I hope he does get better. We can imprison him or make him a rival. We're not going to do that. And we can do another invention. That's always good. So I kind of want to omen power aggression, aggressive protection, tribal reserves. Supply limit, learning on the job, I kind of want to go with the fabricating claim that's going to save me some oratory points. So how is our attack going? We have no only control the siege. We got a commander who's giving a little bit impact but well. The traitors leave the league. All right, and because these guys leave, I definitely want to find a rival and open. Can we invite you? He's already in the defensive league, so I got uh, you left and you. I kind of want to attack you. You. Let's see. Hmm, there are a lot of defensive leagues. So you, why did you... You left the league, did you not? You're in a league with me. How come... Did you leave the league? I just guess this one... No, you're also with me. I guess because I paused the game. It's not updated yet, because you guys should really... That's kind of strange. Did you broke the alliance? Because the league, defending league is still up. And you are still in an alliance with me. So I find that kind of strange. This is kind of awkward situation, because it really said we said that it Somebody left. Well, all right. Pause. All right. So let's uh, see for the peas. I want you and you. I want all your money because I can always use the money. And we're going to press the OK button. And we're going to pass judgment on the family individuals. You're nice. I wonder how good my government is. Government. I got like... That uh, game's still in pause. I got like the clan chiefs. Show the office. I got one guy of eight, six, nine, six. Ooh, you are bad. You guys are really bad. So I kind of need people with high oratory power or no high civic power but you guys don't have that that's kind of annoying 
Their loyalty is... At least this guy's loyalty is good, acceptable. This guy as well. This is tempting this guy. How is your family looking? You have a friend? All right. I guess we are going to keep the Brenny family. Uh, which one? Embrace this one to give refugees to the no. We got a Brennus. Are you the Brennus? Yes, you're the Brennus. Offer sanctuary to Brennus and have the rescues crucified. All right, so the Brenny is now part of our family. And that Brenny family, I kind of want to see if I can get them uh, into pause the game. Pause the game, clan chieftains, and hold the game, summon the war council. I don't even use, I never use this, so I wonder what it does. And it cost me money, give me population, popularity, show the offices. No, that's not, not what I was looking for. I wanted to know if there was somebody better, and there is. The Brenna family, Brennus. I guess this is the guy, six. But you, also to the Brenny family. She's a member of the Brenny. And she is loyal. And again, I pressed the wrong button. Come on, how hard can it be? I guess you are going to be the new. Let it first run because this is going to have a little impact. So now let's take a look at the countries because we have no map mode Who's in who's oh, this is interesting you guys, but you also have an alliance with you So I kind of want to and you You are have a cause belly But the first thing first we definitely need to on pause the game because we kind of need to have more auditory power. At least we've grown a little bit bigger. Let's take a look at how our country is standing at the moment. And I also think this would be a great moment to end the first episode. Superior is slowly growing and I guess the next target is going to be one of these guys, this guy, I think this guy, because he is kind of weak. And you, you have two alliances. So this is this guy and you have, you are, there's an alliance with this guy. Oh, and that one in the back. All right. That's kind of funny because they have a cause belly on their southern borders. So I would be hitting those three. And if I would be attacking this guy, I would be hitting you three guys. So we definitely need to take a look at what we're going to do the next time. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. I also I kind of want to look into this guy because he, I really think he betrayed us. But, well, we'll see that in the next episode. Thank you all for watching and I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. And tell me in the comment down below what you think of my first starting move. And what you expect from this video. Because I really, really like to re read your comments. So see you guys, I need, do need to pause the game. See you guys in the next video.